Previously on Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay announced a special event. Their 50th wedding anniversary. In the challenge, the chefs were tested on updating the couple's original wedding menu. How are you guys feeling the chicken? Probably have five minutes. Ben took control of his new team. If you put the breadcrumbs on now, that's going to brown before you cook cooked inside. OK. Benjamin was definitely our leader. There was, like, this calmness. And when it came time to show what he was made of. They're both very good dishes. Ben clinched the victory for the red team. The edge is in the red team. Thank you, Sean. Ben is fucking dope. The tables have turned. But at the anniversary dinner, Ben was cocky. And Chef Ramsay was disappointed. Benjamin, yes, I've gone to fucking burn fucking shit. I screwed up crab cakes. Chef Ramsay's screaming and yelling at me. Come on, Benjamin. I mean, it's embarrassing. When it's brown, it's cooked. When it's black, it's fucked. In the blue kitchen. Salvatore, you got to talk to me, buddy. Come on. Salvatore was lost on garnish. When Sal gets flustered, his brain shuts down. Come on, Salvatore. I'm getting sick to death. The red team lost and nominated. Francia. And. Siobhan. And Ben was not shy about giving his opinion. Siobhan lacks experience or a passion for food. But Chef Ramsay had another idea. There is one chef that had the worst service, Salvatore. And even though Salvatore was not on the losing team, Chef Ramsay ended his dream of becoming head chef at the Savoy in London. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out. Good night. Good night, Good night, chef. Good night chef. The fuck are we gonna do with four people? From this day on, you have to stop talking and just work. You think I talk a lot? Yeah, you're not very technical, and I don't see the passion. You know what, Ben? I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't have fucking passion. So he can go fuck himself. When you guys say that you know what's going on in the service or something's easy, I don't want to hear a word easy out of anybody on the red teams now. I'm ready to put my balls way on the line. I ain't turning back. Ben, wait till that next challenge. You haven't seen the fire in my eyes? Well, guess what? Next time around, I'll cook your ass under the table, and I'll prove to you that I'm a good cook. We could have done so much better. Like, like with Siobhan, she's not passionate or technical. And she talks so fucking much. It's like people say it's easy. Like, with Siobhan, oh, I understand, I understand. Shut the fuck up. You don't understand anything. You're lucky to be here. He's just being so fucking negative. You may be a great cook, but don't be rude. Siobhan's gonna go for you. As the chefs get some much needed sleep before another day of hard work in Hell's Kitchen, they know to expect the unexpected. Benjamin speaking. Benjamin, Chef Ramsay will be taking you guys to one of LA's oldest and most famous French restaurants, so I need everybody up. Yes, Chef. You need to wake up. I'm excited to be getting out of here. Get pretty, smell good, no real heel, so if I have to cook, I can cook, or if I have to run, I can run. I have no idea what's happening. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning sir. Chef. Why are you looking so smart? There was sawdust on the floors. It was all old and rustic. And Chef Ramsay was looking at us like we were stupid, so overdressed. First of all, welcome to Philippe's. This restaurant has been here for over 100 years. Wow. wow. Now, this restaurant is the birthplace of the French dip. I had no idea that the French dip sandwich originated there. I actually didn't know that Los Angeles was noted for anything. Let me introduce you to someone very, very special. Richard Binner, come on. How are you, sir? Fine, Chef. How are you? Good to see you. The legendary French dip 
started how? Quite by accident. Philippe was making a sandwich, and he actually dropped the roll into the pan of gravy. And uh, the customer says, I'll take it that way. So that's kind of the start of the French dip sandwich. Let's go and find out what exactly made this restaurant famous all over the world, yes? Yes, yes sure. Let's go. Great. Chef Ramsay was such a delight. I even had the nerve to sit next to him this time. So, you know, it was a good day for me. We're going to do this together. Everyone, pick up your sandwich. Yeah? <laughs> One, two, three. What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? Me? Yeah. I'm just trying to get this right when you buy that. <laughs> OK. For real this time, yes? One, two, three. Mmm. This mm. is good. Just melts in your mouth. Quite amazing. Something so simple can be so popular and can translate across the world. For your next challenge, I want to test each and every one of you for your level of creativity. When we get back to Hell's Kitchen, you've each got 30 minutes to create an amazing gourmet sandwich. These are the ingredients. Have a good look. I thought it was a pretty neat challenge. But, you know, it's, it's still hard. It's still got to come up with all these ingredients to make the sandwich taste as good as that French dip did. Do you enjoy the French dip? Yes, yes sir. Sure. Now, create something just as exciting. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sure. OK, let's go. About this challenge, I'm totally psyched. I love when we can cook our own food. The sandwich is going to be fucking awesome. I'm kind of one of those people. I can be sweet, I can be salty, I can be spicy. So I think I need to put more of my personality into my food, and my sandwich is really going to represent who I am. In this challenge, each chef will have 30 minutes to create a gourmet sandwich. The team with the most points will win the challenge. Somebody grab the challah bread. Chef Ramsay has selected this challenge so that he can test the chef's ability to be innovative. Where do you see wasabi at? Got it. He will be looking for each chef to come up with a unique combination that will result in an outstanding gourmet sandwich. Is anybody looking for tuna? I got my tuna already. Make sure you cut the bloodline off it, Devon. Yeah, my tuna doesn't have much of the bloodline on it, actually. By far, Benjamin has it out for me. He thinks he's this hot shot and stuff. If I can prove to myself that I can kick some butt, Chef Ramsay sees that that's all that matters. His opinion to me, I don't give a shit. Did anybody grab the challah bread? Challah? Challah bread. Challah bread? Challah bread. Javon, driving me fucking nuts. Last 10 minutes, yes? Yes, Chef. 10 minutes, Javon. Thank you, Ben. Yes. While Siobhan works hard to prove herself to her teammates, over in the blue kitchen, every chef is working to make something truly original. Foie gras mayonnaise might be one of the best things ever. Jay, I was thinking that. I didn't go with it. I think Jay's my biggest competition, absolutely. Jay's ready to work hard, and I'm ready to work hard. What do you think, Jay? Last minute, guys. Let's go. There's nothing you can do now, anyways. Let's go, guys. 15 seconds to go, guys. Let's go. That's the sandwich. That's it. And time, guys, yes? Red team, one, two, three, four, five of you against the blue team. Let's make it even, shall we? Decide who has the worst sandwich. 30 seconds. Is anybody not happy with this? I mean, I, I, love really mine. I like mine. I like mine. The bread is not good with so soft bread, and then this I like here my, looks light. I don't care. I like my sandwich. I'm not backing down. If I got Siobhan's sandwich when I was eating it at a restaurant, I'd be fucking pissed, and I would fucking want my money back. I think it's the worst sandwich here. I think it is, too. I think it is, I'm too. sorry. Yeah. It doesn't look cooked enough. Every time, it's bang down, bang down, bang down, bang down. Who's standing out? Siobhan, chef. Siobhan. Let's go. Ed and Ben. OK, Benjamin. I have a pan-seared ahi chef with a salad of watercress, spiced olives, and a ciabatta. Tuna cooked beautifully. Lemon juice at the end just wakes up the whole sandwich. Very nice. Thank you, chef. Ed, what is it? Grilled ahi open face sandwich. It's sits on top of grilled sesame bread, wasabi mayonnaise underneath, a little bit of fresh mint and chive. It's delicious. This is tough, very tough. Um, it goes to both of you. Thank well you done. Chef. Thank you, Chef. 1-1. One, one. Really good start. Holly and Jason, please. Let's go. Holly, ladies first. What is that? OK, it's pumpernickel bread, smoked duck breast, caramelized onions, and also a little bit of prosciutto. It's definitely an ambitious sandwich. It worked. Thank you, Chef. You know, I know it was a good sandwich. I'm just glad that he enjoyed it as well. Jason, what is that, please? Lobster coleslaw, sloppy joe, sandwich chef. How did you cook the lobster? I uh, steamed the lobster in the steamer, chef. Nice seasoning on the slaw. Decision, tough one, this one. Congratulations. Holly. Thank you, chef. And Jason. Both of you have got it. 
Thank you, chef. Yeah? Thank you, chef. Well done. Hey, great start. Really good start. 2-2, two, two, guys. Fran and Jay, let's go. Fran, off you go. What is that? It's balsamic chicken with um, roasted peppers. I think chicken with roasted peppers. That's like circa 1982. You've managed to make that chicken um, delicious. Thank you. Uh, Jay, explain to me what it is, please. I did a, a country pork pate with a little bit of foie gras fat, and then I made a quick slaw, sort of Vietnamese influence, and a little bit of romaine hearts. It stands up well. Thank you, Sean. It tastes delicious. Thank you. To identify a winner out of those two sandwiches, there's one significant upsetting item that you never, ever want to see on a sandwich. That is soggy bread. Soaking soggy on the inside. My biggest mistake was not toasting the inside of the bread, but that's just the way, I guess, Italians like it. Congratulations. Thank Jay, you. well done. Thank you. What a shame. 3 2 to the blue. Autumn, Anelka, let's go. Right, this is. A roasted pork with arugula, red onions, and I did a truffle mayonnaise. Very uh, adventurous. It tastes delicious. Autumn. What is that? Roasted pork loin with sautéed vegetables that have a little balsamic reduction added to it. Tastes yep. good. What happened there? Why is it cut awkwardly? Is there a problem with the knife? No, I thought it was fine. You thought it was fine? Well, let me tell you. Presentation looks shocking. That's the kind of thing I'd expect from a sort of first-year culinary student, not from you. Congratulations, Nelka. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. But it sucks. It sucks that everyone gets a point on your team except for you, and it just makes you feel like a loser. Uh, unfold your arms, Autumn, please. You may be upset with your boring sandwich, but don't take it out on your team. OK, I've got to break the tie. Siobhan. Let's go. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate that. That, that just sucks. I mean, we're going to have to rely on her to get the job done. There's no fucking way. What is it? It's uh, ahi tuna on challah bread with San Andreas cheese. There's some grilled pineapple, oranges, and prosciutto. Mm. I actually prefer that to Fran. Thank you, chef. Red team, you should have sent Siobhan's dish instead of Fran's. For that, blue team, you win. I am so sick of it. They think I can't fucking cook. My sandwich was better than France. They didn't want to put me up there. It's their fucking fault. We lost a challenge because of it. Uh, blue team, listen to me. Very pleased with that performance. Really well done. Thank you. Uh, red team, dear, oh dear. For tomorrow night's service, I'm going to put on a really nice amuse bouche, peanut butter, jam, and sauteed foie gras sandwich. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. chef. Now, this peanut butter and jelly needs to be at its highest quality, OK? So you'll be making the peanut butter and jelly from scratch. Shelling the peanuts, grounding them by hand, and putting together the most amazing smooth peanut butter. 450,000 peanuts, that's a lot, huh? Uh, blue team, we're all going on a trip, yes, to California's central wine country, yes? We're going to be indulging in some phenomenal wines from the Rosemount Estates. Unfortunately, it's a four-hour drive, but we've got a private jet, OK? So hurry up and get ready, yes? <laughs> a private jet. <laughs> Losers, get cracking. I love it. One of my goals was to get on that private jet one way or another. My other goal, obviously, is to have Chef say, perfect. He said it was perfect. I can't ask anything else. He said, you can't. He said I'm tired of being underestimated. I'm tired of it. I'm fucking sick of it, and I'm fucking pissed off. He said he liked my sandwich better than France. My sandwich would have won it for us. Siobhan lacks a lot of confidence, but I think she's getting pissed off. Sometimes that's what people need. I knew it was good. I tasted it ahead of time. It was delicious. They didn't want to put me up there. My team can go fuck themselves, because my sandwich was better than France. Hey, Siobhan, if you want to win, we got to win as a team. We need to make sure that the best food goes up there, OK? I knew mine so was one of the best. OK. Your sandwich, not good. Your dish got voted off. I would not serve that sandwich out of my kitchen. That's fine. Okay? That's your personal that's, opinion. It's that's not fine. my personal opinion. This is my professional opinion. When I tell you something, it's not because I'm trying to undercut you, but you don't have the experience that I have. And if you don't know what you're doing and you just start putting stuff together and you need to ask for help, you need to do that. I'm purely confident in my decision. You need to 
take a step down, get off your podium, and stop being a fucking bossy bastard. Cheese, pineapple, oranges, and tuna do not go together. It went together on mine. I'm confident in what I did, and that's the end of it. Okay. You guys obviously have it out for me, and I don't really give a shit. They all think they're better than me? Fuck them. Like, Chef is brutally honest? I'm brutally honest, too. Fine. While Benjamin and Siobhan take a break from their ongoing battle, the blue team is on their way to meet Chef Ramsay. Lovely. And begin their reward. Let's go, guys. Follow me. I love Chef Ramsay. I can't wait to hang out with him. Is it nice inside? Beautiful. I'm probably mostly psyched about that. Well done, well done, well done. Ah, thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, just don't get drunk before we get to the fucking vineyard. Get drunk at the vineyard. <laughs> Jason, you smiled again for the third time today. <laughs> I'm happy. You're happy? Yeah, I am. I'm happy. When they say winning is not everything, they lie. It's the peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are your peanuts. Do you shell them all? I'm still pissed off that my dish didn't go up. Nobody was beating Jay's dish, though. It still really pissed me off. Benjamin still wants to fucking, you know, bust my ass about my sandwich and stuff. But Chef Ramsay liked it. I feel like I've barely made a dent in my bag. She didn't shell too many peanuts. And our sandwich still sucks. I'm getting thirsty just looking at all the peanuts. While the red team shucks peanuts, the blue team enjoys a lesson in blending Rosemount wines. Let's look at the first one, that Grenache. Have a bit of a taste of that. Try that. Wonderfully fruit-driven Grenache. Layers of flavor. Delicious. Autumn, small sips. You don't have to drink it all. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. <laughs> what I need you to do, then, is try the Roast Manor State GSM. Oh, it was my dog. She was giggling about everything. Fleshy, juicy flavors. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she did was smile, giggle, giggle, smile. I've got, like, a 20-pound oh, disadvantage. Wow. A 20-pound disadvantage? Where's that? I've never seen her like this since we've lived together. I'm fine, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> By far the most amazing challenge award ever in the history of Hell's Kitchen. I believe Autumn had the most to drink. She definitely was a little on the crippled side. You're such a lightweight, <laughs> aren't you? This is all true. I'm drunk, I'm drunk. That's the way it is. I don't weigh that much. It's not my fault. Matt, thank you. Well done, yes. Great. Well thank done, you, well you. done. Thank you for having us. Well done, everyone. Well well you don't Cheers. want to lose a challenge. This is the worst punishment by far. It's like trying to put a bunch of rocks through that grinder. Now, I don't want to see a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the rest of my life. I don't know how much more I can take. The red team faces the sober reality of their situation. However, the blue team has continued to drink on their flight home. You got to be drunk. He must be, because I have never seen him like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, they are drunk. <laughs> hey, guys, everybody good? Okay, how you doing? I really don't want to know. Uh, holding my wine. Excuse me. Pardon. We just have to know, are you happy? Oh. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> the blue team came back, and they were so drunk. They couldn't even speak. They were so drunk. Woo. They're so pissed right now. It's funny. So I'm hoping that that high they have is going to affect their ability tomorrow, and the red team will persevere and beat them. This is like the worst punishment ever. <laughs> We had a great time. It was a great bonding experience. We feel really great going into the, ne the next inner challenge, and No more drinks for Autumn. <laughs> I may have encouraged Ed to drink a little bit more. Yeah. Ed is completely trash, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. A little encouragement. Where's your beer? To add to his bad feelings in the morning. Never hurts. <laughs> Love you, hon. Okay. I come out to the hot tub and there's Ed and Holly, but I'm like, oh God, like, are they making out? Oh, and they're like fooling around and being silly. <laughs> Get crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my God, the quiet reserve Ed had turned into like a wild animal. What are you doing, Eddie? James, we're dancing. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs>
Did you hear that? I make it. You won't do it. Yes. You dare me? Yes, I dare, I dare you. you. I dare you. I dare you. You're not gonna do it. Are you being chicken? Yes. I'm glad I have my goggles on. This pump, come and get you. How you like me now? Well, you are drunk. Okay. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> is buck naked in the hot tub. Oh my goodness. Relax. The penis. <laughs> Woo! Man. That shit was wild. <laughs> Get crazy. Get crazy. After a restful night's sleep, the red team wakes refreshed. Morning, Chef. And ready for their day. Morning. However, the same can't be said for the blue team. <laughs> oh, Christ. I feel like hell. I would not want to go through service hungover here. Oh, God, no. And dinner service, which counts the most here in Hell's Kitchen, the red team has taken a beating like no other. <laughs> so. Oh, God. We are finally going to kick their ass. Oh, man. How was I thinking last night? Pretty sure you were. <sighs> this morning, I'm tired a little bit. I could definitely puke on command right now. Yeah, I could. I was just a little bit groggy. I was a little hungover when I first woke up. And then there was four. <laughs> All right, Chef. How's everybody? Uh, that was ridiculous. I think the blue team just might be still a little hungover today. <coughs> we got a lot of work to do, and that could go in our favor. Uh, I wonder how those boys are feeling. Anybody get potatoes on yet? I forgot about that. We need to go to the restroom real quick before we get started. All right, here. Throw up number one. I think the prep today is lacking because uh, some of the team members overindulged yesterday. Do you have the potatoes for those already? I, I did them for the crab. You're supposed to save half of them. Shit. So you seared the halibut immediately. Halibut's not on the menu tonight. Fuck. They've all been messing up over there. I'm standing over there making the palms in it, and all I hear is, oh, fuck, I fucked that up. Oh, fuck, I fucked that up. You know, I think we do have a little edge on the blue team. I would like to send a message to them that they're not fucking untouchable. Chicken breast has been done. We got the palms in. I, is the cream whipped? Yeah, cream's whipped. If we all cook the best we can, we can win tonight. Right, jump in. Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen opens for its eighth dinner service. Good evening. I'm going to do the uh, creamy lobster risotto. And after a string of disappointing performances, Chef Ramsay will be scrutinizing every move the chefs make. Let's go. Two scones, two risotto, entree. Two scones, two beef. Both beef, medium. Get them in. Yes, Chef. I've never made a risotto here yet, so I just want to get that down. The rest of the station I'm fine with. Fran, do you have the chives and the lemon in there? I do. I am worried about Fran. If we have a slow start, that's going to screw us up. Where's the risotto? It's coming right now, chef. One sec. Move, Fran. Risotto's right here. Let's go. Hot pan, get out of my way. It's a pain in the ass to make a good risotto. Tough is not the word. Yes, chef. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you very much, chef. That was good timing, Fran. Just stay calm. Fran has delivered on her first appetizer order. And over in the other kitchen, Chef Ramsay's looking for the blue team to do the same. Let's go. Two scones, one cup of lean, one risotto then, yes? Yes, Chef. Jay, how long? Four minutes. Because, oh, no. The scallops, they ready. Pick it up. Let's go. Four, three, two, one together, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Come on, guys. Three minutes. Jason, I'm hoping that we can sort of gel as a team, and we just need to communicate well, and hopefully they don't screw it up. Scallops yeah, coming out the pan. I need a minute and a half, still. Everybody needs to be on the same page. It has to be perfect. Uh, Jason. Yes, Chef. I have a cooked scallops. Rubbery as fuck, like a fucking ping pong ball. Jay. Yes, Chef. More yes, salt. Chef. More salt, Chef. Oh, and it's fucking raw, Jay. Yes, Chef. Fucking hell, guys. It's elementary, this stuff. This first table is important. Yes, Chef. It sets up the tone for the evening, exactly. yes? Yes, Chef. Come on, guys. I got it, I got it, I got it. Fucking hell. 
We did get off to a rough start. The scout was from rubbery. Point taken. I start off with a starter like that. It makes me fucking really nervous before yes, service. I thought we got rid of the weakest link in here. Already we're acting like a bunch of idiots. We may have had some fun in the fucking vineyard. That shit's gone. What I need now is serious cooking. Yes, chef. While the blue team starts over on their appetizers, back in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks to Fran to keep up the good work on her risotto. Go oh, fucking rules. What's the next one? Rice is crunchy, no fucking seasoning, and it's watery. Sorry. More butter in there, yes, more fucking seasoning, and the lobster's not even fucking hot. I'll fix it, Chef. For Christ's sake, Fran, learn how to cook a fucking risotto. So you give me a perfect one, and then you perfect. go back to your shit ways again. Damn it, I'm so aggravated. You're about as fucking consistent as pigeon shit on Trafalgar Square. While Fran starts over on her risotto, the blue team has worked through their poor communication and is pushing out appetizers. Service, please. Let's go. Thank you. With the blue kitchen's diners satisfied with their appetizers... Go, please. Chef Ramsay wants to move on to entrees. Potatoes! And turns to... Autumn! Potatoes now! 20 seconds, I'm coming. Fucking hell, Autumn. Autumn, she's got a pretty nasty hangover. She needs to really be a lot more meticulous because we have to pull this off. We fucking spent time like that on the fucking plane. Everyone started telling me how fucking good they are. Yeah, you're fucking slow, madam. Autumn was not ready on garnish. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Autumn dropped the ball. Mashed potatoes, salty. <laughs> Come on, Autumn. They're salty. They're salty. Madam, cut the bullshit and put a little bit of effort into your work, will you please, yes? Yes, chef. And do me a favor. Start tasting your food. Yes, chef. Because you may have about 90 minutes left in Hell's Kitchen. Fucking move, madam. Huh? Big time. Yes, chef. While the blue kitchen waits on Autumn's potatoes, over in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is waiting on Siobhan. Where's the scallop? How's the scallop? I had a refire one order of scallops. Look at this. What are you doing there? I thought they looked golden brown, Chef. Stop. Fuck off, will you? I thought they looked fine, Chef. You thought they looked golden brown? They were fucking black. Take that. Yeah? There are some on here that were fine, Chef. So where's the fine ones, then? They're right over in Where here. Where are they? Where are they? Shut the fuck up and cook. Keep your mouth shut. Yes, Chef, and cook. Don't talk, because he's only going to put his foot deeper in your ass. You've got the nerve to tell me that some of them are fine. Wishy-washy, not even seasoned. And do you know what, more importantly? They're boiled. You donkey! Fuck about! Get out! Get out! Get out! Yeah, yeah. Get out. Fuck off the bar and eat it. And Chef Ramsay has sent her to the dining room to eat her mistakes. Benjamin! We, Chef! Fish station, Chef. Siobhan was just fucking up the fish station, so I took the station over. You know, I want to put the food out so Chef doesn't look like a schmuck and customers get their food. So, how were they? I fucked up most of the scallops, Chef. Five scallops, yes? We, oui, Chef. I got five scallops going. Can I help you? Stay on desserts. Stay on desserts. Here. Just fucking... I seasoned them for you. Where's my scallops that were here? I had scallops in a fucking... Oh, my... Don't fucking touch anything on the station. Just get out of my station, please. Ben pushed me out of the way, and I was really, really pissed off. Because you know what? He has no heart and no respect for people. Well, they were all crumbled up. Just get out of my fucking station. While Siobhan is relegated to desserts by Ben, in the dining room, one customer... Is it cooked? I'm rare at best. I asked for medium, and that's rare, completely. ...decides to take matters into his own hands. Oh, no, this is bad. Service, please. Let's go, please. Two beef. Jeez, who, who is this man throwing food at our plate? What's the matter? Well, talk to me. Look, look, look at me. Look, look, excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Don't come in here acting like jumped up like some little gym bunny. Now, do me a favor. That's his job. You fuck off, yes? You trying to poison Get me? Poison you? Yeah. What a fucking dick. It's beef, you fucking idiot. They eat tartar. You've never heard of that, have you? It's low-grade beef. Go and have a shave, you fucking knobhead. Low-grade dog. Let's go. Standing there like some fucking jerk. Stand strong, buddy. Stand nice and strong. Push your arms out. You look like a fucking quail. Now that Chef Ramsay has dealt with the foul customer, he can refocus his attention on... Nelka! Yes, Chef! Two beef, two chicken. Let's go! Yes, Chef! All right, I'm ready with the sides. All right, bring it up. I'm coming right behind you. Coming right now? Yeah! Garnish the two chicken. I hear, Chef. It feels fucking cold. There we go, pink chicken. All of you, come here. Pink chicken. 
Not just pink, but fucking raw. And you will look, not even cooked. Raw, raw, raw! You sliced. You can obviously see that it's fucking raw. You can't set up raw chicken no matter what. I would respect you 10 times more when you tell me the chicken's raw. Ah, uh, why? I tried so hard. I did not want to fuck up tonight. It's not fair. You can't just do that. My chicken's raw. You're right. As Nilka starts over on her chicken, Chef Ramsay has a question for the blue team. Beef, where is it? Well done, beef, right Salmon here. Salmon sauces, let's go. Come on, awesome. Ed, you've got to pick it up, yeah? Yes, Two salmon waves, one beef. How long? I'm, I'm ready for it right now. Well, why are we going, then? You've sliced the wedding time. Let's go. 30 seconds. All of them, did you hear that? All of them. There's got to be some teamwork here, yes, guys. Yes. We had no communication. It was absolutely terrible. And I was trying to get to talk to all of them, and she wasn't giving me any answers. Come on, guys. Come on, come yes, on. Chef. Well, at least bring the fucking salmon, big boy. Where is it? Yes, chef. Right here, chef. Don't start fucking killing me now, guys. All right, come in now. Last hand. Where's the duck? Where's the duck? 10 seconds, chef. Slicing right now. Don't do this to me, guys. I'm getting a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of this, and a bit of that. Come together. Sorry, chef. Duck. Oh, what a cunt. Just, just all of you come here a minute. No, Jay, it's not good enough. It's not, that's how it comes in sliced. But yeah, it's fucking raw. It's not good enough, guys. Let's go, guys. Hey, Ed, come here, hold your hands out. Yeah, look at me. You, 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 and you. Fuck off, out. Leave me alone. Get out. Fuck off. My bad, guys. No, we was doing fine. Yeah. My bad. That's some bullshit. I don't yeah. think we were doing awesome. I wouldn't go that far. No. You don't think we was doing too good? No. Nope. Why not? Our timing was off. Every single ticket, there was things not together. Nope. He, his biggest thing is communication timing. My teammates always, you know, oh, it was good enough. Like, good enough is not good enough for Chef Ramsay. And I think the sooner people understand that, the better off we'll all be. Coming up 30 seconds after, technically, is not right. That's the thing. All of a sudden, the blue team kind of disappeared. What happened? You noticed as well. Yeah. Hey, madam, I can't even get a fucking salad dress that looks. Not even dressed, look. Like rabbit food. I think Fran talks like she knows how to fucking cook, but she can't do shit. Not one piece, not two piece, look. Nothing. I'll not even dressed nicely. I'll redo it, chef. That's a salad. You know, there's only so much one person can do with that sort. It's two results after how long? It's coming right now. Come on, ladies, right, we can do it. Come on. It's raw every fucking bit. Your risotto, madam, madam. Yes, Touch sir. the risotto. Taste the rice. Up and down, up and down, up and fucking down. Do me a favor. Look at me. You, 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 and him. Get out! Get out, get out my side. Get out! Just get out. Come on, get out. Useless bits of crap. The man is not, it's not us. This is ridiculous every day. It was a clusterfuck, is what it was. I don't understand. Yeah, look at this. Why did you guys get kicked out? <laughs> Fuck. You both got kicked out? Yeah, they got kicked out before us. It's ridiculous. We fucking get thrown out of the kitchen because they're a fucking bunch of yahoos, and it's just fucking frustrating. How is this possible? We were all communicating. We weren't doing well, guys. We weren't doing well. We're going to get fucking reamed when we go back in there. Where do I start? Someone tell me. What the fuck was going on in there tonight? I fucked up. I tried to do too many things at once, period. I take full responsibility for my mistakes tonight. And that's it? I went wrong, definitely. I undercooked the chicken. I fucked that one up. And right now, it shouldn't be no errors. Right now, we should be cooking at our best. It was pink and cold. Anyone else? I fucked up too, chef. Mm. Oh, really? Blue team. What the fuck were you doing, Ed? I wasn't listening. Were you me. drunk? Were you drinking a little bit too much of the white wine as opposed to putting in the risotto? No, chef. I have had enough. Winning team. Winning what? All of you are going upstairs to the fucking dorm, and the blue team and the red team come up with two individuals in each team and think who is going to be leaving Hell's Kitchen. Now, fuck off out of here. The blue team losing doesn't happen a lot, so when we lose, we take it twice as hard. It definitely screws with our morale. Unfortunately, we're going to have to make a hard decision. Autumn, I think my first choice is you. Ed, my second choice is you. I think you made a lot of little mistakes, and I think you made one major mistake. What he said. 
There's no way that I deserve to be nominated. I made a bunch of little mistakes. It sucks. It sucks. It's awful. I can pack up my shit, get it organized. I only had one bad service, but one bad service can mean everything now. So, you know, you can't go by that. I'm just going to fight. It still sucks. Being no, it sucks. No, I know. Uh, I pick Siobhan. I must fucking throw you out of the kitchen myself. I really did. The difference between Benjamin and myself is Benjamin has been classically French trained. He loves French everything. Fuck the French. Oh, I got a picture on a friend. Here I go again. And why is it me? Because it seemed like you were just going so slow. You know what? I, listen, just listen, just I listen. I had to refire those risottos because it was too late. If I bought them up there, he was going to bring them back to me. Nelka, she still fucked up. She deserves to go home and not me. And I'm going to make sure I fight every goddamn minute to stay here because I deserve to be here. I'm going to have to go with Siobhan and Nelka. It was one chicken, but OK. But you know, I, I don't, yeah, I know. I'm not going to put myself up over one piece of chicken. I don't think that rounds from elimination. No, 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 no. And we have to choose to. OK, Jay, blue team, first nominee in Y, please. Autumn Chef. We believe that it was hard to keep a good pace when the garnishes were late to the pass, but slowed us down. Second nominee in Y, please. Second nominee chef was Ed. We decided that serving a raw duck to you is unacceptable. Benjamin, red team, first nominee in Y. Siobhan, chef. Siobhan. We chose Siobhan because she couldn't handle any of the dishes. And she brought us down in appetizers as well as entrees. Second nominee in Y. Second nomination chef is Fran. Again? Again, chef. She's disorganized. It's difficult to work with her because she doesn't communicate as clearly. And every time she talks back to you, chef, it's disrespectful and it hurts the kitchen. Let's go. Awesome, Ed, Siobhan, Fran. Get your ass up here. Let's go. Ed, you've been in the kitchen for 10 years. Yes, chef. Why can't you cook a duck breast? I, I should wait it. Take an extra minute. I should have told you that. You know, and let it rest completely instead of slicing it right away. And I was rushing. The only thing that was missing was the fucking feathers and the beak. It was that fucking raw. Autumn, here's the conclusion with you. Couldn't settle with the ladies in the red team. Uh, the guys like you. But within the first hour of service tonight, you were highlighted as the weakest. I can come back from this. I can show you that I can move fast and hit the ground running. I can do better. I know I can do better, and I will. Truthfully, I haven't got time to wait any longer. Fran, why the fuck should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have been here a ridiculous amount of times, granted. Everything you say to me, regardless if you're yelling, I know it's for a reason. You spend more time on that spot than you have on your section. Siobhan, somebody in the red team tonight threw you off your section, and you allowed it. Can I help you? Stay on desserts. Stay on desserts. Why do you think you should stay here when you can't even say no? Chef, when that happened in the kitchen, I felt that it was for the best of the team. I wasn't in a professional standpoint in an open kitchen going to bicker with another teammate. And there was no excuse for what I did tonight. Done. I can't do anymore. Siobhan, give me a jacket. I cannot do it anymore. You work hard, you bust your ass, you mean well, you just have not got enough experience to stay any longer. Do you know why? Because it's going to get harder from now in, and I can't carry any longer. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Good night. I'm definitely leaving Hell's Kitchen with a lot of confidence, and I'm very proud to at least have gotten this far. It would be nice to run the Savoy Grill, but to take this experience and to learn so much from it is priceless. All in all, I stayed professional, I stayed true to myself, and I was brave and fearless the entire way through. There's 50% of you left, so that means something quite significant for me. I've got the best half. If I've got the best half left in Hell's Kitchen, fucking prove your worth. 
Good night. I feel like it's every day I'm fighting for my life here. But I know that I've really got to push even harder than ever to stay in Hell's Kitchen. I want to prove Chef Ramsay wrong. I just want him to eat his words. I want to show him there is a fire in me and that I, that I deserve to be here. I feel very nervous because you got to really turn it up a notch. But I'm going to be more careful with everything I do. I'm not going to the hot tub tonight, that's for sure. Siobhan got pushed around a lot in Hell's Kitchen, so it was up to me to finally push her out. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. It's time for blind taste test. A highly anticipated challenge. Who has got the best palate? I have a good palate. Give me a break. I know Fran doesn't have a better palate than me. Ends in disaster. Roast beef. What? Almonds. <laughs> Prunes. No. <laughs> At dinner. It's crispy and burn and it tastes of shit. Tensions boil over. Can you please get out of my way? Fran is crazy. I don't want her fucking near me. Rivalries turn to hatred. OK, get the fuck out. Damn. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? And when Chef Ramsay discovers a thief in the kitchen. You're robbing the customer. The interrogation begins. Where's the pork? Do you want to go home? I don't understand. Where's my chicken? It's every chef for himself. Fuck you. I can watch out for my own ass. Trying to survive Chef Ramsay's inquisition. Well, what's wrong with you? I'm like, hello? Whatever, send me home. Next time on an action-packed Hell's Kitchen. Cafeteria food! You have to see to believe.